Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do closing entries. This is an accounting basics topic in financial accounting. We're at the end of the accounting cycle. So we have previous videos on how to do journal entries and posting to the ledger, figuring out the balance of each account and the unadjusted trial balance, the adjusting entries to get the adjusted trial balance and now we're ready to do financial statements. So we've shown all those in previous videos. Check the links below. So in this video we're going to do closing entries and we're going to do the post-closing trial balance. We'll finish the accounting period and get ready to start the next accounting period. Now remember the goal is to issue financial statements and so on the previous video we showed all three of the Financial statements here, not the statement of cash flows. That's a little bit later in financial accounting. So let's go back to our adjusted trial balance. Our adjusted trial balance lists all the assets, the liabilities, the equity, and then revenues and expenses. Now, assets, liabilities, and equity are called the balance sheet accounts or the permanent accounts. And so revenues and expenses are on the income statement or they're called temporary accounts. Now, what that means is you might say, what is 2022 revenue or what is 2023 revenue? We start over again each year with revenues and expenses. So the goal of what we're trying to do today is close out all these accounts. Now, dividends, you might say, wait a minute, that's an equity account. That's a contra equity. We're going to close that account down also and we're going to have retained earnings. Everything gets closed down essentially to retained earnings. So let's look at our financial statements real quickly. So remember we have uh, the income statement, we had revenues and expenses, we'll close all those down, and we have retained earnings and we'll close down dividends. We're going to show how we go from zero retained earnings to 2650. We're going to do this with the closing entry process. Now we have balance sheet that's not going to really be affected, but, but the, um, on the balance sheet we have retained earnings of $26.50. That's how we actually go from not having a balance in retained earnings to having a balance of $26.50. All right, so closing entries. Uh, we have four steps. We're going to close revenues. We're going to close all expenses. We're going to close an account called income summary that we use for steps one and two and we're going to close out dividends. Now when we say close, that just means make it a zero balance. You, you make it zero, so uh, I've got a, a simple example here. Service revenue, for example, is has a credit balance of 11500 So the balance would be 11500 We're going to debit that 11500 so therefore the balance is going to be zero. That's all we're talking about on the closing entries. So let me show you how this works. All right, so let me start from scratch here. So number one, we're going to close revenues. So service revenue has a credit balance. So we need to do the opposite. So we're going to debit service revenue. And we need to debit it for 11,500. So what's the balance of that account now? It's going to be zero. And the other side of that transaction, we're going to use an account called um, Income Summary. We're going to use Income Summary. Now, what is Income Summary? Well, it's only used for three entries, to close revenues, to close expenses, and then we close it down to retained earnings. All right, so we have closed all the revenues. Here is the bottom half of the trial balance from a previous problem here of the adjusted trial balance just so we can see it we don't have to keep referring back and forth now what i've done i've already made the entry here so i don't have to type in front of you all the expenses here so we're we know that we have expenses that have a debit balance so we need to credit those balances we need to credit 4200 depreciation is 100 insurance expense is 300 wage expense 2100 utility expense 400 and then 1500 is rent expense okay and so we're going to credit all those accounts to get rid of all these debit balances so what is our debit using income summary the opposite is going to be income summary so i need to sum all these so i'm going to do sum 
of all these numbers. Close the parentheses. So apparently the income summary is going to be 8,600. That's the total of all the expenses. So we've closed revenue with debits. We've closed expenses with credits. And so let's think about our income summary account. Income summary, we have uh, credited income summary for 11,500 and we've debited it for 8,600. So this represents the, the uh, credit side represents all the revenues and the debit side represents all the expenses. So we're out of balance. So what's the balance? It's going to be 11,500 minus 8,600. And our balance then on income summary is 2,900. What is that? Well, if we go back and look at our financial statements, that is net income. So you could say the income summary is 2,900. That's net income. It could be net loss if expenses are larger. All right, so here's what we have. We have a balance of 2,900, so we need to get rid of that balance. We need to debit income summary for the 2,900. And what's our credit going to be to? Well, we're going to close all our revenues and all our expenses down to an account called retained earnings. Now, we haven't had this account yet. It's been on our balance sheet, uh, our retained earnings, but we haven't started that account yet. So this is the way we move all the net income into retained earnings. So 2900 the very last thing we do, we have a dividends account that has $250 balance. So we're going to debit retained earnings. And we're going to credit dividends. And the amount is $250. $250 is our dividends right here. So we've made entries to close revenue, close expenses, close income summary, and close dividends. So the very last thing we need to do, remember on our accounting cycle, we've done the closing entries now, and we need to prepare a post-closing trial balance. So after we do all the closing entries, what do we have left? So let's start with the adjusted trial balance. I've just reproduced it here to look at this. So we're going to change this to post-closing trial balance and we keep all our assets liabilities and equity so we're going to start at the very bottom I'm going to get rid of all my service revenue all my expenses I can just delete shift the sales up dividends I'm going to replace dividends with retained earnings and get rid of that $250 balance. What is should be the balance of retained earnings? Well, um, we have 2,900 minus 250, or if we go back and look at our financial statements, it's gonna be 2,650. 2,900 minus 250 is 2,650. So our post-closing trial balance, the balance of retained earnings is gonna be 2,650. And here we have our post-closing trial balance balances. Now, all we have is assets, liabilities, and equity, and we've updated equity to be retained earnings, and we've gotten rid of all revenues, expenses, and the previous year's dividends. So that's how you complete the counting cycle. Check out the videos on the previous one if you want to see the from the initial journal entries all the way through the financial statements, all the way through the closing entries. Hey, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Good luck in accounting.